right so we are still dancing in the dark week number three um i finally got into a doctor who has said to me that there is fluid behind my eardrum and it looks like it's some kind of middle ear infection i've got a really bad pain if i push here I've been pushing it. Um, so they finally given me antibiotics and hopefully this time next week we'll be out of dancing in the dark and we'll be able to have the sun, the studio lights back on uh, so that you can see the cards and you can see what's happening properly. So thank you all for bearing with me, especially those of you with the kind of emails as if it's took me a little longer to respond back to you. Um, I haven't really, um, I haven't been well at all. Everything's still quite dizzy around me. Um, but I'm relieved as well to know that it is just my ears that are messing up. I'm quite happy about that. Um, so yeah been a bit of a rough ride for me i've had a rough couple of weeks so what we're going to do this week is what are they thinking about you right now um i am going to do a third party reading next week okay absolutely written it down it's going to be next week but this week spirit was saying to me it's really important that we look at their thoughts okay so deck number one and deck number two i want you to think about your person and as you're thinking about your person, I want you to feel that heart-centered energy going to the deck you are most drawn to. Number one and number two, pick your card deck. Okay, so as always, it works from the strongest mutual energy with you all. Uh, I go into all of your energies, all your people's energies. It's working kind of in the here and now, but all your future energies are also involved in the deck. So if you're watching this in six months' time, your energy will be pushed in. Um, as long as you watch it at the start and you push the energy into the deck, okay? So deck number one, let's do this. So can you tell me what is the person they're thinking about? thinking of them lots of thought processes going on here going into a very blue energy the blue energy throat chakra energy um really coming forward with you guys so you might on a on a physical level some of you might have a bit of a blocked throat chakra so you might be noticing like me problems with your ears your eyes your nose your mouth i'm just seeing a bit of a blue going on some of you might be feeling a little bit allergies a little bit hay fever um a little bit of a cold cough feeling a bit run down or to do with your throat chakra um and on the flip side of that, if it isn't the physical, you're going to be feeling a little bit choked at the moment, that you can't quite get your words out to your person, that you want to communicate with them how you're feeling. And it's just you, you, you can't find the right words to do it or you're feeling that you're being hit by a brick wall. And Spirit showed me that very kind of turquoisey blue, which again, very, very throat chakra related. If you have any turquoise, um, really important that you kind of, well, you can, it's not important, but you can wear it around your throat, wear it like maybe a necklace or something like that, and will really help with the communication and bringing things up to the surface. If not, you can get like a blue crystal, you can just kind of stick it on your throat as you're falling asleep at night. Anything along those lines are gonna help either the physical ailments, which some of you are suffering from, or the um, emotional ailments of lacking of communication. Okay, coming forward really, really strongly at the start. Someone messaged me to say, am I still doing uh, email readings? Yes, I'm still doing all readings. I'm doing email readings, video readings, past life readings, life purpose readings, uh, manifesting plans, anything you want. All the details are on the website, um, www.mysticlovetarot.com. And if you need me, just drop me an email at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. So let's see, what is their person's thoughts about them? So I'm getting this song for you um, straight off the bat and this is uh, three steps, two steps forward, three steps back, two steps forward, one step forward. Something about a step forward and some steps backwards and it's by, I want to say um, her name is Gabriella Rodriguez or something along those lines. I don't know her name but it's coming up. So if you have a look at one step forward, three steps back, you will get the song. Um, and it's kind of where you and your person are at the moment. Like you do feel like you're doing a bit of this kind of forward motion, backwards motion, forward motion, backwards motion. It's giving you guys a little bit of whiplash because you're not quite sure um, what's really going on with you guys. Um, what are they thinking about those watching? So that whiplash mixed up with this kind of lack of communication with you guys, this, this kind of blocked throat chakra, um, is meaning that the situation with you guys, you are feeling 
that you're not really sure what's going on and you don't really know what your person is thinking about you. So then you've got this kind of sense of confusion. So you're a little bit frightened to open up about your emotions to them in case you get hit by a bit of a brick wall. Now, some of you guys are potentially going through a bit of silence, no contact, etc. So when it comes to communication there, you can also see the block in communication. So again, really highlighting that throat chakra um, like I said, crystals can help that. You could also do some meditation and opening up your throat chakra, anything along those lines, and it will just bring your person towards you a little bit quicker if you are going through this no contact. Um, you can also do it where you're visualising them sitting opposite you, so like this, and your throat chakra aligned with their throat chakra, so just seeing kind of like a, um, a turquoise blue kind of going between your two throats will open up the lines of communication with you guys again. So what is your person thinking about you? Your person has been a little bit selfish. I think that's probably the best way to explain it. They haven't really been thinking about you um, on the grand scheme of things of how you're feeling about the situation. They've been quite selfish and thinking about it purely from their perspective. And this is why you're going to feel a little bit stuttery, a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, now, the really important thing to note here is that your person has got feelings for you. They have got emotions for you. They just stutter with the energy. Now, let's find out why. Okay, so the reason why they stutter so much with their energy for you is because, and you're going to think this is really counterproductive, they have got these very strong feelings for you. Okay, so they swim towards you. you. They give you a little bit and say, oh my God, I have these feelings for you. You're the best thing since sliced bread. You'll have an uptake of messages. You're going to have more communication. And then suddenly you're going to feel their withdrawing. Now, the reason for that is because a vulnerability comes from your person. So when they feel the two of you getting close and bonding and connecting, they panic and they withdraw, okay? And that means sometimes they can take a step back from the situation with you. So if you guys, like I said, are going for a bit of downtime Time or ghosting or something a bit more negative like that is because your person allowed you to get into their heart and into their head a little bit and they panicked and withdrew from it. So in their thought process at the moment where they're thinking about you, they have got these emotions, they have got these feelings, they will often act, um, we've got the, the King of Cups and we've got the King of Wands over here, you, the, you are often going to find that you are walking this fine line between their heart and their passions, okay? So sexual energy, drives, chemistry, friends with benefits, F bodies, all that kind of stuff over here, mixed in with I love you, you're the one I want for, uh, you are the one that I wanna be with, you're my total, total world. And this again is part of the reason why you're gonna feel that you got a bit, bit of whiplash because your person walks between these two lines and you don't really know what side you are standing on because they're not opening up to you about their emotions. And again, when we ask why the reason and for that it's because of this sense of vulnerability so they have got emotions for you they have got these feelings for you um but when it comes to emotions and talking about them sometimes they will act more on a sexual side of things because they feel that it's less likely for them to get hurt if they act on this passionate energy rather than this emotional energy they find they they think in a way that emotions make them feel a bit weak you know, and that's such a kind of messed up view on things, but it's the way that they perceive things. They think if I have emotions towards someone, that is when I am vulnerable, that is when I am weak, and that is when I can get hurt. And so therefore they kind of black away from it, they, they blank it, they push it away, okay? And that's why, again, you've got this two steps forward, three steps back energy coming with you guys. So the reason for it, we're kind of looking back at stuff that's happened in their past, past energy coming up over here. They've probably been hurt by family, mothers particularly, I'm hearing um, potential issues over here where they've had to be really strong for their mum as they were younger. Um, so they learned that emotions can be a vulnerability, emotions can be a weakness, so they hide underneath that. Um, other than that, you might find that they've had issues with exes in the past where maybe they've been cheated on or hurt or disrespected. And when they really did have these emotions for someone, and they feel like they've been, you know, kind of ripped apart, been lied to. So you've got this kind of emotional vulnerability coming up again, and it's to do with stuff in the past, okay? Um, now, what they want, where it's going, where the current thought process on it is, they aren't meaning to act the way they are acting, okay? They're not making this kind of big conscious decision that they are trying to give you whiplash. They're not trying to do that, okay? 
but they, they're not really sure. They haven't done a lot of inner work to work out who they are as a person. They aren't really sure why they are acting the way they are acting. But when we look at their thought process on it, we do know that there are these emotions there. The way that this is going to be counteracted is by taking time between both of you. So really taking time to build the connection, establishing the connection, bonding the connection. If you guys take your time of it, it can definitely work out in your favour. And your person will go from this kind of idiot, asshole, I'm not really giving you what you want energy into taking a step forward on a much more emotional level. But it's going to take a little bit of time. OK, so letting them have that. Um, time with the situation when they back away just you know take a step back as well okay don't go chasing them because if you chase them you'll end up backing them into a corner and you might not like how they handle it from there you're going to feel like you're chasing them and then they're going to withdraw a little bit more so just be a little bit cautious of that when it comes to the communication with you guys so they've got this progression route with you there are emotions here their thought process on it is they would like to see where things go, but they want to take their time at it. And that's another reason why you're going to feel that you're getting mixed messages. They're not realising that they are giving you such mixed messages. And that's really, really important to highlight. OK, they think that you are a bit of a mind reader, that you should know why they are acting the way they are acting. Um, and to be fair, they don't realise within themselves that the reason why they withdraw is because they feel emotionally vulnerable. They haven't done that in a work, so they don't understand that. They don't know that. Um, and that, again, highlights this energy kind of coming forward um, that it's going to have to go at a slow speed. OK, but there is an ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. And you have your Ace of Pentacles over here to symbolise your new beginnings. OK, and this reminds me, uh, Spirit just showed me the, whoever watched Harry Potter a long time ago, the golden snitch in Harry Potter. So it takes a little bit of work, but you will get the reward at the end of it. OK, so if they are a bit assholey and back away from you again, just kind of, you don't have to be an asshole, but just kind of echo the energy. Don't go chasing them. You've got your outcome over here of things working out between you both. It's just a bit of perseverance. Perseverance. So the thoughts towards you is they don't realise that they are treating you the way they are. They have got this very strong emotional energy, these love feelings, love emotions towards you. That are actually as well continuing to blossom and grow, Spirit are saying, because they feel that vulnerability. You've got this sexual energy coming forward over here that they fancy the pants off you that want to rip your clothes off as well. So you've got that chemistry energy um, all within their little thought process, all within their little pretty little minds. Um, and you've got at the same time, you have this very, very strong bond and connection between you guys. But they're just a little bit frightened of stuff that's happened in the past. OK, but they aren't aware of that. They aren't they aren't fully aware of that. So their thoughts on it was they'd like to see where it goes. They want to take it slow, but they are really interested in you. Um, you're just going to have to go at their speed. And that is deck number one. OK, my beauties, if you need me, just drop me a message. I love you all lots and I will speak to you soon. Tons of goddess blessings from my, uh, my house to your house. Ciao, my loves. OK, guys, deck number two. So we are doing your person's thoughts about you at this point in time. What are they thinking about you right now? Um, and as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So going into all your energies, all your people's energy and pulling out the strongest energy that is within you all. OK, so let's see what's going on. What is their person's thoughts about them? Think about your person, please. Can we get into the collective's person's energy? Their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. This deck is working beautifully for you. I haven't used it in ages um, in a public reading. But it's working very, very well for you guys. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What is happening with their people and their current thought process towards those watching? What are their people thinking right now about those watching? So I'm getting Taylor Swift, I promise that you'll never find a lover like me. First thing coming up into your head, into their heads. So your minds are kind of a little bit on this kind of... I'm going to say battle of wills, but you've got this energy between the two of you, almost as if one is trying to get one up on the other one, a little bit. Not all of you, but some of you. What are they thinking? 
So there's a bit, a little bit of playing games happening over here. What are they thinking about those watching? So I'm seeing, as I'm saying that, I'm seeing this kind of tug of war happening with you guys. So there really is this energy going on with you both um, where you're battling one another. You know, you kind of, uh, you want the same things, but you're seeing it from very, very different perspectives on it. So you've got this little bit of a battle and that's the tug of war. So there can be said a few flippant comments, a few things that are being said with you guys where it's being thought and over four and two and two is being added to make 30, not just from your part, from their part as well. You are both watching exactly what each other is saying. You are both watching exactly how each other is acting. Um, and it's kind of causing this little bit of aggravation and tension. So even if you're not in contact, this is kind of happening on an energetic level with you guys as well. There is a mismatch of your energies. Your energies just aren't quite aligning with each other at the moment. How can you resolve that? Would really recommend that you guys look at doing some energy cleansing, um, keeping your chakras as clear as possible, uh, going on YouTube, type in energy cleansing, chakra cleansing, anything along those lines. And again, feeling that energy within you and asking it to echo onto your person. So there is a little bit of a misalignment in your energy. And that is what's causing this tension, this conflict, these arguments potentially. Um, you've got Spirit saying two opposite ends of the spectrum. So like I said, you want the same things, but you're both handling it very, very different ways. And being really drawn to my attention over here is the five love languages. Now, if you haven't read that book, I do really recommend that you read it. It talks about how we love people in the way that we want to be loved and not in the way that they want to be loved. And again, this is where this kind of miscommunication, misalignment of your energies can come through. So you've got the spiritual misalignment of your energies, which is why we're talking about energy cleansing. Thing. And on a physical basis, it's really looking at how each other is acting um, and looking at the way that perhaps they want to be loved in the way that you want to be loved. I'm trying to find that middle ground between you guys, okay? So the other side of this, the flip side of this is, is with you two and the chemistry and the kind of tug of wars, you've got this very, very strong connection, very strong bond, very strong energy between you both very very deep connection it highlights quite often for you guys a twin flame connection um or a higher vibrational soulmate connection and um, potentially a little bit of karma with you guys as well so even if you twin flames you can have karmic energy with you guys and this is what is potentially causing the conflict the toxicity but at the same time this is what's causing the highest of highs and the lowest of lows Okay, so you have the highest of highs for your person, everything goes good, everything goes wonderful, and then you hit the lowest of lows, and then you search for the highs again, okay? So you've got this kind of addiction energy happening between you guys. This connection isn't done and dusted. If you think your person has vanished into the sunset, gone forever, you could not be more wrong. Your person is still monitoring you, they are still keeping tabs on you, they are still watching you, um, and they have got these very, very strong emotions coming up over here. Children are potentially being brought into this energy as well. If you're thinking about kids, uh, potentially kids involved with your person or you wanting a family, all of that is in the pipeline for you should you wish to take it. But your energies really have to align with one another, okay? So where it's going, what they're thinking, at the moment you've got this conflicting energy with you guys, but you also have this love energy, okay? So love, strong emotions, feelings, seeing you as a little bit of temptation, potential third party situations happening here if your person is with someone else, you will know about it, okay? I'm not telling you anything new, you would know about it. So you've got that energy kind of coming up over here, this temptation energy, this love energy, this passionate energy, and again, this can be leading to conflict, fights, arguments, etc., etc. Reason for that is because of the spiritual connection between you guys. So you're going to feel at the moment this risk connection between you both is at a little bit of a standstill and not much has really been happening with you both um, that you don't really know what direction it's going in and your person isn't giving you the answers that you seek right now. Now, with that, I'm also hearing uh, with the song, it's always darkest before the dawn, and I'm sure that was Florence and the Machine, that coming into my energy really strongly, okay? Always darkest before the dawn. This connection is going to get a little bit easier with you guys, and your person is going to start telling you how they feel, opening up about their emotions, okay? So let's see what's going to create that shift. What will create the shift in this energy between deck number two?
So the shift is going to be created by a little bit of balance being put onto the energy. So your alignment, energy aligning with you guys. Um, you're going to be going through a little bit of a better period with them. And as you go through that better period, that bit of, better bit of time, that is when they're going to start making this heavier movement towards you. They're lost without you. It's kind of like that can't live with you, can't live without you energy kind of coming forward quite strongly with you guys. So they do have these emotions for you. They do have these feelings for you. They're being a little bit snarly, snarky, uh, you know, self-protecting a little bit over the situation at the moment, which is going to make you feel that it's not, nothing is really happening. Um, but they have got this kind of spirit of saying infatuation with you guys as well because of the, the kind of devil energy coming up, the toxicity, the passions, the connection with you guys. Um, that devil energy coming forward and that is giving them an infatuation with you. So they're still thinking about you, still want to see what you're up to, still checking up on you if you are not in contact. And if you are in contact, you still have that very strong energy of exactly the same. So they're still watching you, still seeing what you're up to, still checking up on you. How your person is feeling about you at the moment, they're crying a little bit over spilt milk, they're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves, um, they know that they haven't perhaps handled this situation very well, that you guys have maybe said things that are a little bit hurtful to one another and if you haven't, maybe it's been perceived in a bit of a hurtful way and your person has seen, is seeing that as well. So they might be having a little bit down time from the situation, really focusing um, on rejigging their energy, trying to get back into a stronger position in their mind. OK, very strong emotions for you. Very, very strong feelings for you and very strong progression route if you wish to take it. It's just a little bit stagnant at the moment. OK, there has to be endings happening with you guys. Perhaps if your person is involved with someone else, this is kind of divorces and endings. I'm going to do a third party reading next week. And if it isn't, this is talking about you guys where you have been these conflicts tensions and arguments coming to a close so that you can move forward into a new beginning with your person and we've got this quite honky guy on this ace of pentacles a lot more stability and security coming up and your person has that energy ready to give it to you okay with the page of cups over here they are ready to come towards you with a message of love offering you a new stable beginning okay but it's just been a little bit of a tug of war you know a little bit of aggravation conflict kind of like a hurricane and a tornado and with that i'm kind of getting the energy of uh the song eminem love the way you lie not the actual title but the lyrics of it that toxicity that passionate energy and i don't know if you ever noticed at the start of the video the number that is written on someone's hand says 555 555 is an indicator of changes happening around the connection. So you and your person are going to be going through these changes, going through these shifts of emotions, shifts of feelings, uh, shifts of building the connection up. And it's going to start with your person kind of accepting, um, you and your person accepting that you want the same things, but you're just seeing it very different perspectives, okay? So wanting to be together, wanting a future, but you're just at very different standpoints and there's a miscommunication within your love languages and within an energetic level. So aligning your energy is going to be really important for you both and you can shift the situation forward and you have your celebration at the end of it. OK, so what they're thinking about you at the moment, their thoughts on it, they're probably a little bit pissed off, probably a little bit angry, probably a little bit fed up, um, a little bit hurt. We know they're a bit hurt because of things being said without really thinking about it. They're also feeling a little bit let down by themselves because they've handled the situation in a bad way. So you've got a bit of guilt, a bit of remorse, a bit, bit of regret happening over here. But their emotions for you are very, very real. And with the lovers kind of coming up over here, that strong bond, that strong connection is holding the connection in place. So even like I said, even if they are a bit quieter with you at the moment, you have got this bond building between you guys. Okay, and that is deck number two. All right, my lovelies. So if you need me, just drop me a message. Um, every All the details are in the comments. Um, I'm sending tons of love to you. Have an absolutely blessed week and look after yourself. Goodbye, my angels.